You know the jungle has its rules And I just gotta keep it cool And I'll be treated like a tool So don't be acting like it, acting like it So, I'm doing a vlog. It's been a hot minute. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna remember how to vlog. But I feel like I connect so personally with you guys when I vlog. I just wanna like show you guys my life. I feel like I always have these moments where I'm like, oh, I wish I could share this with someone. So, I'm gonna be sharing you guys just like my day to day life. I'm definitely gonna be trying to do way more vlogs on my channel. So as you guys know, I'm back in Europe, I'm back in Germany, and like I'm so grateful to be back. You know, I'm just living my cute European fantasy life. But my ballet season doesn't start till September 14th, and I just got here kind of early because I thought I was gonna have to quarantine, which I didn't because they tested me at the airport and then I came back negative, so I didn't have to quarantine. But I've just been like getting back all my shit, y'all. Like. Towards the end of when I was home, I really got lazy. I wasn't working out, I wasn't doing anything. I barely filmed any videos. I think partially because like the environment of being home, like so unproductive, just, I just wanted to do like nothing and just hang out with my friends. And also I started hanging out with my friend Mary Jane every day and I got really lazy and unproductive. No regrets, but I'm glad to be like back on my shit now, back to being a productive person. So for today, it's 9.40. Usually I would have already been out of my apartment, but I made Rose stay back so I could like have pretty lighting for when I was filming this morning. So we're gonna go to the studio. We've been doing our own little class. I think this is gonna be like a three day vlog. So it's gonna be full of like ballet, getting back in shape, YouTube stuff, living my best European fantasy life. And I take you is all along. I'm so excited to be vlogging again. Okay, so let's just go. So, if you follow me on Instagram, then you've already heard this, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, literally what are you doing? So, y'all know that like, these Stuttgart boys, they ain't doing it for me, okay? Like, I never see cute boys, like, that's one thing that this city is really missing. Like, I wanna walk in the street and just see, like, a hot guy, just for, like, visual, like, pleasure, you know what I mean? But at the gym, like, I don't know what it is, but all the, all the hot guys go to my gym. They're definitely all straight, unfortunately. I mean, you never know. I have this great video idea. I wanna do a get ready with me for our first date, but I had to get ass on a date first. That's the hard part. So, like, maybe one of these days, one of these guys in the gym is gonna come up to me and be like sweaty but like glistening <laughs> actually just like looking hideous but like i really hope someone asks me on a date so i can film that video like if i go to another city i could snatch up a date i have this energy in different cities that in general like the men are just better but like here in stuttgart like i'm not gonna find a date so if i want to film that video i need to start traveling but with, like corona and everything y'all that video will probably come like eight months from now <laughs> I need to be real with myself for a second. I am definitely not gonna go on a date if I'm feeling crusty and dusty. I will, however, go on a date if I'm feeling beautiful. And that's why today's video is sponsored by Function of Beauty. So thank you to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video. So I don't know if you guys have realized, but my hair has been looking extra fine recently. So all you gotta do is go on Function of Beauty's website, take a very quick two minute quiz about your hair and your hair goals. They will then create a shampoo and conditioner, especially for you. And you can choose the name that goes on it. I just did Tristan, but like maybe in the future I'll do something funnier. You can also choose the color and fragrance, which for someone like me who is really picky about how everything looks is a dream come true. I'm so picky about scents. This eucalyptus scent that I chose. 
perfect. And it also comes with the cutest little sticker sheet. Function of Beauty has no parabens, it's sulfate free, no GMOs, and no toxins. It's also vegan and cruelty free. Okay, so they also sent me some body care products, which I have been so obsessed with. I got this body wash and then also the body lotion. So I don't know if any of y'all can relate with me on this one, but sometimes if you put moisturizer on right before you go to bed and then you like get in your bed and it's like slimy and gross, this one absorbs into your skin really quickly and dries, which I love because I hate that feeling of being in your bed with like the sliminess, ew. Go click that link in the description to get 20% off your first Function of Beauty order. So thank you to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video and let's get back to the vlog. Okay guys, so I just got out of the shower after the gym, felt really nice, and it started like pouring. There's like a full on storm going on. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's actually like really pretty. I'm actually enjoying it. This is like Stuttgart weather 99% of the time, and it gets really old really fast, and it gets depressing, but I'm kind of enjoying it right now. I've had like a long, sunny summer, so this is like definitely like an indoor cozy vibe. I'm just having some bell peppers and some hummus, literally my favorite. Then some black beans, and of course, <laughs> with sriracha sauce on top, like there's literally nothing better, and then just like a um, green smoothie. Um, but yeah, and then I'll just be listening to a podcast while watching the rain. I just like I'm feeling really cozy right now. Okay guys, so now is like the time of the day when I've been focusing on YouTube stuff. So this is just like replying to any emails for like brand deals or anything like that. Getting YouTube videos ready to upload, getting thumbnails ready, getting Instagram posts ready, all that good stuff. I don't have much to do today because I have the video ready for this weekend. I'm doing the skincare video this weekend, but there's some emails I need to reply to for future brand deals because someone's gonna make coin around here. Okay guys, so we are on our way to the grocery store because I want a bit of an unhealthy snack. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> I just, maybe some wine, we'll see. I'll probably get it. <laughs> Girl, that's it, pour more. <laughs> that's what you get for buying a <laughs> four euro bottle of red wine. <laughs> Okay, good morning, you guys. So, we made a big oopsies. We woke up so early, we got a great day planned, like, so excited for this day. Like, let's get to the studio early. So then we got to the theater and we realized, oh wait, they're closed on Saturdays right now. So we woke up super early. I woke up at like seven. That's not super early, but like, super early for like these right days. now for these days we're just out over here we're taking a pretty walk like if you guys saw this greenery over here this is everything guys okay you guys know me like Stuttgart is not my favorite city and like the architecture here disgusting I never find cute apartment but I literally just found my dream apartment so there's this like woodsy area in the middle of the city and it's so cute and look at this apartment it's got this gazebo right here and then they have these like beautiful huge windows right there it's got this cute backyard that is my dream apartment it's like so cute so german five million steps or staircase what five million 
How would you say like stare like like I'm trying to say like five million like No, I'm saying in English. Stairs, but you wouldn't say yes. stairs. <sighs> okay, so five million staircases later, we're back in my apartment, right back at square one. We're going to do like a little ballet workout here in the apartment, just some like things for like abs and get the hammies and the glutes going. And then I think we're gonna do a little bit of yoga. I have a great day planned and it's gonna be so much fun. We're gonna do like a farmer's market moment. I'm gonna adopt a new child. So excited. We're gonna go out tonight. It's gonna be fun, okay. So we're on our way to the farmer's market. This is one of the things I look forward to all week. Besides shaking this ass in the club, which we can't do right now, this is the other thing I like look forward to all week. It's on Saturdays. I'll just show you guys at the farmer's market in general. It's really cute, so yay. On our own. We got the goods. So first we got this like fresh apple juice. It's only like two euros, 20 cents for the, the fond, <laughs> the bottle. Then we got some ciabatta bread for the jam. This was only one euro 80, something like that. So cheap. And then we have my favorite, the jam. It's a raspberry jam or Himbeere jam. Himbeere. So we're gonna have the bread in this and then I'll probably have lunch. And then we're going to adopt a new child. I'm so excited. So my children are my plants. I am a proud gay plant dad. His name is Gunter. It's very German. And then we have Tinker. I think, isn't that the name from like, Shake It Up? The twins or something, I don't know. So we have Gunter and Tinker. And then we also have grandchildren. So like, that's a grandbaby. And then, and then this is also a grandbaby. Those come off of Tinker. You like cut her, her leaves off and then you put them in like, water, but the grandchildren don't really matter that much. But I'm going to add to the family today. I haven't gotten a new plant in a while because I want to make sure like I could be a good plant dad to these two. I really want something different and special and like my room needs so much more decoration. So let's go adopt a child. Angelina. I don't know why. I just came up with it and I think it fits. Angelina is like extravagant. It's extra and she is all of that. Look at her. She has this nice long hair. She's heavy. So she's thick. She's a thick girl. So I took a nap because we're gonna go out tonight. We're gonna go to the bar. So right now we're going to go get dinner. We're going to this place called Burger Heart. It's like very American for like Germany. I don't know, but it's good food. We're looking cute. Like look at us. Show the fit. Show the fit. Show the top. I mean, looking like this, we might catch some men tonight. <laughs> Just kidding, secret men are trash. Unless it's the guy upstairs, which we will tell you about later. So yeah, let's go to dinner. Oh. <laughs> so I've been in Germany for about two weeks now and I'm at five guys. I'm really good at embracing the culture here while I'm studying abroad. I'm just like fully learning about the German and just European culture in general. So 
I'm gonna have my American burger with my American fries, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Ugh, I could literally cry. I like want to be in the club so bad. Like I missed the club last week. You better have watched my story time, and I got locked out of my apartment. So when we finally got someone. Like 24 hours later to come and open the door, this fine ass man walks right up the stairs and there's only one floor above me with like one apartment and then there's like Airbnbs. He's like what I imagined German men to look like. Yeah. Like before I moved here, I was like, oh, German men are gonna be sexy. He's like big, he's got them tattoos, he's got like that little Blue like, eyes. he's got the facial hair, not like a beard, like facial yeah. hair. Like, the light eyes, I was like, wow. Who moved in upstairs when I was gone? He said something, and his voice was kind of like, not like hyper-masculine, like it not like super straight. Page. Not even high-pitched, like, just give me a little gay vibes. But I was yeah. like, okay, he's straight, and she thought he's gay. So then, like a few nights later, we were, you know, having a good time on a Saturday night, and I dared her to go upstairs and like pretend like she's lost and knock on his door. So this girl, okay, Rose, you can tell in this vlog, she's quiet, she's a quiet girl. She did it, I did not expect her to. She goes upstairs and she knocks on his door like pretending to like have the wrong apartment and he opens it, shirtless, <laughs> with his six pack. These gray sweat <laughs> tattoos of his arms on Abs, his chest. right? Yeah. He chest? Was chest. For those of y'all who don't live in Europe, basically in the basement of like apartment complexes, or not apartment complexes, apartment buildings, there's like laundry machines. So I went down and what do I know? I, I turned the corner <laughs> in the laundry machine and I see this man bent over and I was like, it's like, oh, and so they go. And I like walked past him to go do my laundry. He's like, oh, hello. And I was like, hi. He like gets his stuff and he leaves. He's like, oh, ciao. And I was like, ciao. This man turns around and he comes back and he goes, oh, so um, tell me about like you getting locked out of your apartment. I'm like, so you're turning around to have a conversation with me. You made the effort. You made the effort. <laughs> So, I don't know. So I started talking about how like I got locked out. I lied about how I got locked out. I was like, oh, I accidentally walked out without my keys. I did not tell him I slept walk out of my apartment. I still think he's straight. But there's a little bit of me that hopes he's not. But anyway, so now there's a cute guy living above me. I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> We're gonna go out to the bar. Okay, bye. Okay guys, so it is Sunday, um, but it is 4 p.m. right now and I haven't really vlogged at all. I got up at like 10 and I had pancakes as you guys saw, but other than that, I haven't really been doing much. Sundays are usually just my lazy day. It's just kind of my day to do nothing and just relax. It's also my upload day, but usually I have my YouTube video done by Sunday, so I don't really have to stress. It's such like a rainy, cozy day, like most days in Suka which is not great when you have stuff to do. But on days like this, it's actually so enjoyable. I've just been <laughs> wrapped in my blanket, in my sweatshirt, and my comfy socks. But yeah, on Sundays I oftentimes do like stuff around the apartment, like clean, today I was doing laundry, saw the hot guy down in the laundry room again. <laughs> I have been binging The Devil Next Door on Netflix. I am such a nerd for documentaries. This is a documentary about Ivan Demyunuk, um, who supposedly Ivan the Terrible back in World War II, and it's about his trial and everything. I love true crime, I love documentaries. So this has been perfect to just like binge today. So the plan for the rest of the day is to upload my video at seven. The other thing I'm going to do is do my bullet journal for September. I have not done bullet journal in like since March because with COVID and like going home, I just, I didn't really find any use for it, but I'm ready to start doing that again. I also want to journal a little bit. That is something that I need to get back into as well. I'm gonna continue binging this and watching the rain. So I will see you guys later. Okay guys, so I just uploaded the skincare routine video. Since like the pandemic started, honestly, my videos just haven't been doing well. So every time I post a video now, I get 
so much anxiety. I want to like reply to you guys, so I reply to you guys for a minute, and then I just have to like turn it off. Because if it doesn't do well, then I get like so much anxiety. It's just bad. So I just need to like unwind, take a shower, relax, not worry about it. It's out of my hands. I'm proud of the video. There's nothing else I can do about it. Hey guys, it's me from the future, and I just kind of wanted to preface what I was talking about earlier with my anxiety surrounding my YouTube channel. So I've been getting a lot of anxiety whenever I upload a YouTube video, and now it's kind of all the time, and it's about my YouTube, and it's not just about views, it's a lot more than that. And the other stuff is what is honestly worse. To kind of generalize what I'm feeling is I don't know where my YouTube is headed, I don't know what I want to do, I don't know what I like to do, and I know that ballet content gets the most views, but I just don't enjoy Enjoy making that. So I'm honestly having my own mental battle on what to do in the future. I'm definitely going to talk way more in depth about this in a future video, but I need to sort it out in my mind first before I talk about it on the internet. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming this and editing it. I will be doing so many more vlogs from here on out. I'll see you guys next week. I love you guys and ciao.